Hello, this is David Hale from Tech Dive TV. Welcome to Commercial Commentary. This is episode 67 of Commercial Commentary, and today we're going to talk about truth in advertising. Yes, many people complain that commercials hype things and all their claims are not necessarily true. Well, I have two commercial examples today of actual truth in advertising, and I want you to take a look at them and tell me maybe in an email at techdivetv at gmail.com, whether you think truth in advertising like this actually works. Hello, I'm an actor. I've been paid $8,000 to tell you how great Nordnet is compared to other banks. They chose me because I'm more handsome than their real CEO and because I look successful in a suit. I walk fast through a hallway where I read from a prompter on top of a camera. It says that Nordnet has lower fees, a better platform, and that they push less of their own products. Great job. I now walk in this modern office where I have a cup of coffee with another actor whom I've never met before. We shake hands and laugh. <laughs> Apparently business is going well. <laughs> <laughs> so, does that commercial make you trust NordNet better or worse? I mean, just they're, they're making you learn that they're passing someone else off as a spokesperson for the bank and they don't even work with the bank. Or, do you like the fact that they're being honest with you and find it refreshing? Speaking of refreshing, the next commercial has to do with a mistake that was made by Arby's. And they're doing their best to atone for their mistake so take a look at this one and let me know if you think this is a good idea for truth in advertising. Arby's has an agreement to feature their good friend Pepsi in two commercials a year. Well, Arby's messed up and forgot about the second commercial. So here it is. Pepsi. Cool. Refreshing and goes great with Arby's sandwiches and other Arby's foods. Arby's, we have Pepsi.